and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and ads to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for October 25. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered all the best free new assets, the next one I'll be covering top visuals and effects. As always, there's a link to the asset in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. And if you're joining any game jam for Halloween and you need some last minute assets, if so then check out the current sale on the asset store. This is a $25 asset sale, so a bunch of these are $25. Which for some of them that means only 50% off, but for others it means 90% off. For example here is Megafires, which usually is 140 bucks, now just 25. If you have this giant realistic characters pack, again also a huge discount. There's this cute monster pack if you're going for something a bit more cozy. And tons more stuff. You can also get this nice VFX pack for free on orders above 25 bucks. Just use the coupon trick or treat during checkout and get some awesome VFX for your next game. Check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a great tool to help you build some talentable worlds. If your game is set in a grid, then this tool seems quite helpful. You can easily define all the parameters in your world, define the grid size. Then use the various tools to paint some terrain and build the world. You can customize the tiles that you use. You can make a sand world, make some grass, water, snow, really whatever you want. Add some trees, bushes, crystals, and many other elements. And it also supports procedural generation. So you can define some rules and generate as many worlds as you want. And also supports real-time modification. So you can use it to create a world and then have the player dig or break through parts of the world. This looks like a very capable tool, perfect for making any grid-based world. Then here's one that does a massive upgrade to a core Unity feature, it's better animation events. This is something that has always been very annoying to handle, adding animation events in Unity is always so fiddly. So this tool helps make that much much easier. It features all kinds of new abilities, for example it features drag and drop editing, you can easily see the name of all the events, the data is stored separately from the animation clip, so you can for example modify it without changing the original animation, you can modify multiple events at once, you can zoom in or out, you can preview event details and customize with colors. So yep, if you work with a lot of animation events, if so then this tool seems invaluable. Then if you want to make some nice 2D destruction, check out this one. I've already covered how you can handle destruction in a previous tutorial, but that was in 3D. In that one you can slice meshes with ProBuilder, and this one over here, this one lets you basically do that, but with 2D sprites. It has a really nice editor to slice parts of your sprites. You can select just a corner and really slice it out. That basically lets you create individual sprites for all of the individual parts. And then you can easily make a prefab with all the parts and really just blow it up. Like I said in that tutorial, adding destruction is one of the best things you can do to make your game feel so much more satisfying. Instead of having just unbreakable objects, objects that you can't interact with. Instead of that, really just add this kind of thing to make pretty much any object destructible. Doing so will make your game feel much better, and this tool helps you do that in 2D with ease. Next for a simple one, here we have a clean editor layout for Unity. So yeah, this one is exactly what it says. It basically simplifies the Unity editor to make it really minimalistic, with only exactly what you want and no wasted space. So everything is nice and compressed, the toolbar merges with the title bar, there's no console at the bottom. So it sounds small, but it does add up. It adds something like 80 extra pixels of useful space. Then of course you can customize everything. You can hide or show only the menus that you want and nothing else. So yep, lots of customization. If you want a little bit more space to work with, then this seems awesome. Then if you want to make your UI a little bit more polished, here's a tool to help with that. It includes a nice custom editor with tons of sliders to make your UI look exactly like you want it. You can add some outlines, you can make the edges curved, you can blur the UI, add some shadows, add highlights on the buttons. You can do all of that with a very simple, easy to use interface. So this one looks like a great simple polishing tool. Then if you want to make levels, here's a tool to help with level design. Or rather, actually this one is a collection of tools. For example, it includes a prefab painter, you can just click and hold to draw some prefabs on your level. Then it includes a spline or path builder, you can circle to select multiple objects, you can tile various elements, place floors on a grid, swap out some materials, and do tons more stuff. So if you do lots of level design, then a tool like this can be quite useful. Up next, here's a fun one, convert your text into physics objects. This is definitely one of those very niche tools, but it can be quite fun with the right game. You can have the player write their own name, then turn that name into physics objects and use it in gameplay in some way. Maybe make the letters explode in a nice satisfying manner, maybe dump a ton of letters into a bucket and jostle them around, maybe have the player have them pick up and drop some letters to make various words. So yep, this one is definitely a very niche thing, but you can make some fun stuff with this. The collisions do seem perfect, so that's awesome. Next, if you want to make two and a half D games, if so, here's an engine for that. These are games kind of like Don't Starve or Call of the Lamb. You have a 3D world with flat 2D sprites. Personally, I always love this art style. This asset is meant to help you very quickly prototype games just like that. You can add various objects all over the place. They exist in a 3D world. Then your 2D character can move around in this 3D world. It can attack things, fire projectiles. 
you can interact with objects and enemies. So this engine, this one includes a ton of objects and sprites to really help you get your prototype up and running quickly. Then if you want to make your game come alive, if so, here's a tool to add some voice acting onto it. This seems like a generally useful AI tool. However, the important thing is how it is completely offline. This one is using Meta's offline Lama model. It works locally. This works both ways. It converts player's voice into text and generates a response and then generates some audio from that response. This one is pretty fast. The responses are in between one to four seconds. And again, it's all 100% local. That's the important thing. There are no servers, no connection, no subscription. You just pay once to buy this tool set and that's it. You can use it offline. So if your game is text heavy, then perhaps a tool like this can help. And next up, we have another tool that works well with the previous one. So here is Audio Reactive Mouth. Basically, this takes your audio and generates a moving mouth from that sound. This is a simple, subtle thing that makes your game look quite a bit more professional. Instead of having static characters, you can have their mouth move. And importantly, is how it's all generated. So you don't have to manually animate a mouth or anything. It's all generated based on audio. Looking at the trailer, it does seem to fit correctly. The voice sounds do seem to match up with the mouth shapes perfectly. And the mouth can also have one of many different visuals to fit your game style perfectly. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on Dune TS Store for October 25. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MAKE10 to get 10% off your order. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.